Mr. Speaker. I, uh, my question is to the Minister for Economic Development. Does he stand by his answer to oral question number seven on Thursday, the 21st of March 2013? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, particularly my statement that the information and communications technology sector is probably the sector with the highest demand for skilled workers. And my example of one website alone advertising 1,300 information and communications vacancies in Auckland alone. Supplementary question, Claire Curran. Has he or his office had any contact with telecom board members or senior executives since last Thursday's question time about the imminent job losses? If so, what was the total number of job cuts told to him that would occur in 2013? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, I spoke to the chairman of telecom last weekend. I asked him where they were up to with their restructuring plans. He told me they were still in progress. He could not offer any numbers at that stage because the board was yet to meet to consider them. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Claire Cohen. Thank you. Has Telecom informed him of their plan to reduce the workforce by 20 to 30 per cent from each business unit, which would mean job cuts of between 1,500 and 2,300 employees. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, no. Telecom informed us this morning, just prior to releasing to their statement, what they were saying today. Could I caution the member to be very careful about those statements, because she is talking about a publicly listed company. And last week, when she suggested there would be 1,500 positions lost in this House, uh, that has turned out this week to be incorrect. The numbers are significant. Well, that's, well, as I read the statement today, that is incorrect. And I just caution the member to be careful. Point of order. Point of order, Claire Cohen. Uh, I seek leave to table uh, an email from a telecom employee revealing the company's plans to cut 20 to 30 per cent of staff from each business unit. Who was the email to? The Pardon? members are asking who the email was addressed to. To me. Okay. Leave us sort to table that email. Is there any objection? Yeah. Yes, there is. Oh. Oh. Order. 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 Supplementary question. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Order. Order. I'm trying to give Claire Curran a fair go at answering another, asking another supplementary question. Supplementary question, Claire Curran. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Does his government have a sector Order. strategy in place to support the engineering technicians and professional support staff who will lose their jobs at Telecom, or is it just another example of his hands-off approach to job creation? Honourable Stephen uh, Joyce. Mr Speaker, the government, as the member knows, has a number of uh, ways in which it supports uh, people in job loss situations, including through the Ministry of Social Development and including through skills matching uh, processes. And we have, in fact, talked to Telecom uh, from my office in terms of offering assistance in relation to matching uh, workers that uh, may lose their jobs from Telecom with the very high demand for other workers across the ICT sector in New Zealand. And we have uh, say offered on that basis, but if the member thinks that uh, bureaucrats sitting down and planning where every individual goes is actually going to have an impact, she's particularly wrong. Entry. Supplementary question, Claire Curran. When will he admit that his government is failing on job creation, given today's announcement, and that 30,000 people have lost their jobs since he became Employment Minister? Honourable, Mr. Honourable Mr. Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, sec I'll answer that uh, question in two parts. The second part, the member is simply incorrect. And in fact, if you look at the quarterly employment survey, it's gone up 53,000 in the last two years. But the other point is that the member has to decide which argument she's running. Because one minute she's saying telecommunication prices are so too high and they must come down for consumers. And the next minute she's complaining when companies restructure to actually make themselves more competitive and control costs and presumably get prices down. Now, I know in Claire Curran's world, you can Order. both hold every job in place and keep prices down, but she's incorrect. Question number 11, Shane.